Holy crap! Megamind is so dorky. Look at him go. <laughs> I know, right? He, he's so he's so dreamy. Wait, what? Whoa! Wh what the? Wh what is happening to the movie? <laughs> what is this? Yeah, so the new Megamind sequel looks really bad. <laughs> now, the first Megamind movie back in 2010, it was actually a really good movie. I remember watching it constantly as a kid. I actually couldn't escape it, to be honest. <laughs> I think we've all been waiting for a sequel of some kind, and after so many years, we've finally gotten one, but... <sighs> what was that noise? <laughs> What the balls? Goofy animation errors, spliced up footage from the first movie in the trailer, WTF. This little kid, she looks like an imported model from like a Coco Melon animation dude. Now don't get me wrong, I like children. I like children's movies and I respect everyone that has worked on the sequel. They probably woke up every morning exhilarated to work on the sequel, I I'm, I'm sure. But why did you have to do Mega Man like that? <laughs> Well, today, I'm going to do something that everyone is way too afraid to do. Watch the movie. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to watch the Mega Megamind vs. the Doom Syndicate movie to see how bad it really is. Now, I'm not a very judgmental person, so I'm curious to see how... Uh, I'm curious to see what this movie is going to be like. <clears throat> so, on a warm Saturday afternoon, it was it was movie watching time, baby, and I was not ready for what I was about to experience, i got to be honest. Now, I first decided to watch the first Megamind movie to kind of, like, refresh my memory on the lore, and it, dude, it's such a good movie. I actually, I'm so depressed. That's way better than I remember. I'm actually so scared. I don't want to watch the sequel. I don't want to ruin this movie for me. Megamind is so sexy. <laughs> And was ready for definitely one of the movies of all time. That's definitely for sure. Why am I excited about this? Megamind 2, let's go! That wasn't even funny. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Let's see how shit this thing is. Voice over Cody, take over the video. Let's freaking go, baby. The movie begins with the beautiful DreamWorks logo sequence, greeting us for the movie day. <laughs> Here, we get introduced to Megamind, and 20 seconds into the movie, and I already get insulted. I see friends who frankly should put some pants on and venture outside occasionally. Seriously, get some sun! Then Megamind gives us a nice recap of the storyline so far by just showing footage from the first movie, no reanimation or anything. I just watched this. <laughs> I just watched this. Oh, Jiminy Crickets. And then it randomly cuts to an aquarium late at night where these people in fish suits try to rob the place because there's like a fish in one of the enclosures with like a lot of diamonds on it. I, I don't know. But thankfully, Megamind spawns out of nowhere to save the day and defeat the, the Go Fish Gang. Before the Go Fish Gang. Uh. They then have this super intense fight. It go it gets pretty crazy. But Megamind obviously saves the day. The, that little hunts a little fella. And here, we actually get reintroduced to Roxanne, like the news reporter from like the first movie. She does not look very good in this one. That's not Roxanne. We also get to see the mayor again. Oh, God. That's the mayor? Dude, what? And we also get to meet the best character in the movie. I swear I've seen this exact character in a Coco Melon animation. I mean, I don't watch Coco Melon, but she's apparently a... Uh... your new social media manager, streaming content creator, and image consultant. And for some reason, Megamind is really mean in this movie, especially to Minion, like his fish sidekick from the first movie. Now that Megamind is like a hero and he, he kind of has a huge ego now, he kind of treats Minion like absolute shit. Chum, my friend. Yes, sir? Fix Brainbot 227. Let's head back to the lair. Those socks aren't gonna wash themselves. Why is Mega Mind a dick? Why is he rude in this movie? And Minion hates how he's being treated, obviously, so he just quits being Mega Mind's psychic and just ends up working at this diner. It's really random. I don't even know what's going on. It's five minutes into the movie and I'm already losing brain cells. I think I think my I think broke my I think my brain my I think my brain my, I think my brain's broken. <laughs> but suddenly we cut to the Doom Syndicate, a, a group of villains that Mega Mind used to work Work with we got this love guy Pennywise mo motherfucker this lady that can control the weather and a T-104 Fortnite skin who how did he get in this movie dude these guys look really out of place they look like nothing that would be in the Megamind universe but they end up breaking out of prison by murdering some prison guards <laughs> what was that a glitch was that a glitch I think I just saw a glitch well 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 and they break out of freaking prison for one reason to revisit Megamind. <laughs> Don't hurt Megamind, he's too attractive! 
And by the way, there are jokes in this movie basically every 30 seconds and none of them land. <laughs> none of them. Toasters need to be plugged in or they won't work. <gasps> Show me what you did, sorceress! After Megamind made me laugh my penis and balls off, the Doom Syndicate has spawned in, in Megamind's base. Oh my god. <laughs> the Doom Syndicate! <sighs> my old evil supervillain team! But turns out, the Syndicate still think that Megamind is evil and a villain, even though he's not evil and a villain, he's like the hero of the city now. So then I witnessed this. But he's a Nobody can deny because he's now their evil overlord and they're likely to receive an unusually cruel punishment. Oh yeah! yeah <laughs> it's dark. It's messed up. And I love it. Oh, dude, he's like the anime voices, dude. He's like, what you doing in there? That smells amazing! It sounds like that guy. You gotta let me try! Now that the Doom Syndicate are back in town, they decide to go on like a crazy crime spree and Megamind needs to try to play along but also protect the city at the same time because he's a hero. Oh, that's an interesting plot development. So they think they're a, he's a villain, but he's actually a hero now. So Megamind runs in a very realistic and smooth animated way through an empty city with literally no one in sight. This has to be a backrooms level. Where are the people? We then see the syndicate just blowing up random stuff in the city. Oh my testicles, I can't be getting away with this! I will call you Mr. Cuddly Snuggles. I'm actually so lost. I'm so lost right now. What's happening? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I, I literally just spaced out for like two seconds and now I- And as Megamind is slowly trying to convince them to stop breaking stuff, the little kid from earlier just spawns out of nowhere. Die, 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 no! For more awesome saves, click like and subscribe. Stop! Stop it! I need to go for a walk after that line. Holy shit. I need some fresh air. I need some... Click like and subscribe. Oh, they're gonna rock... They're gonna rob a bank. Rob a bank. Couldn't have said it clearly myself, so Megamind had to pretend to rob a bank in front of the syndicate. Huh? I mean, I'm not good. It's just important. Dude, the only thing that Megamind's saying is just like, oh, let's let's rob this bank. <laughs> that like he's oh he has to pretend to be evil or just like sarcastically talk for the entire movie instead of having any depth in your character. So to make it look like he was robbing the bank for the syndicate, Megamind and the little girl, I hate the girl, uh, convinced everyone in the bank to put their hands up like a selfie. I actually don't know how to explain this part of the movie, but stay back, I say. Ah, it certainly was good to work those old bank robbing muscles again. Okay. It then cuts to Megamind in his bedroom, and it's kind of awesome. I would love a room like this, but Megamind when he's sleeping just looks so uncomfortable. <laughs> what? What is that infernal racket? But turns out, without Megamind knowing, the Doom Syndicate had organized like a huge party in his lair and has invited all the city's villains, but there's just normal people at the party too, I guess. Ah, don't be so <laughs> we some the 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 puppy. But that means uh, the Go Fish Gang are at the party too, and they know that Megamind is a hero because he defeated them earlier, so that's not good. Megamind then proceeded to just boogie on the dance floor, I guess. And I don't recommend pausing this movie at any point, it's disturbing. Way too close for comfort, buddy. But then, one of the members of the Go Fish gang try to confront Megamind, but he gets freaking murdered by them, but that wasn't the craziest thing to me at the time. Yo, what? Megamind has toes, dude. Holy shit, I'm making that as my wallpaper. <laughs> then, Megamind kills the other two Go Fish gang members, and now they can't spoil the truth to the Doom Syndicate. Megamind is so smart and attractive. Gah, I mean, what? Then, the next morning after the huge party, Roxanne visits the lair with some freshly baked cup Cupcakes and also some awesome animation errors. Why is the cupcake forming around Megamind's hand like that? Then the Doom Syndicate spawn in the lair. They just love spawning implosions and they reveal that they wanted to do one last evil scheme to send the entire city to the moon. What the flick flick tic tac willy work is happening here, dude? Imagine all of us living together always for eternity. 
forever until the last star falls from the heavens. And turns out that they're actually rocket boosters underneath the city from when Mega Man was evil and decided to put them there. I I'm losing brain cells just saying that out loud. Uh, this movie's awesome. And finally, after Mega Man being the worst liar ever, he finally gets confronted for being suspicious. I don't think you want to disappoint your old friend. Stating that they're going to launch the entire city to the moon by the end of the day, so Mega Man needed to prepare to fight against these super interesting villains. <laughs> Said no one ever. So obviously Mega Man needs some backup, so he heads over to the diner that Minion is working at now to try to get him to help him with this mission. Dude, I didn't know Mega Man had this power where he could speak without his mouth open. That's so weird. <laughs> Oh my god. And this was the point of the movie where I was getting a little bit uh, mentally insane. <laughs> like, what the flip is even happening anymore? And I don't have any memory of this, but I took this selfie at around this point of the movie. I'm looking rough. I'm looking rough. Uh, and then Mega Man realizes that Minion is happier at his new job, so he leaves the diner and returns back to the lair where the Dib Syndicate are furious at him. And this is actually one of the only times in this movie where it actually made me laugh. <laughs> Man, I really got you guys! It's a prank, bros! Now who's hungry? Golly gee willikers, Mega Mind is dead as hell and he was so scared that he was sweating out of his huge, voluptuous forehead and he had to escape from the syndicate. <laughs> Bro has the craziest plot armor of all time. Oh, well, never mind, he's gonna die. No! They're gonna take over! Mega Mind then crash landed to the other side of the city, leaving all the bad guys to finally send the city to the moon. Mega Mind has fucking failed, guys, no! I failed everyone. Then, Roxanne, the news reporter from earlier, is finally a thing again and finds Mega Mind in an alleyway wearing a fake beard, symbolizing that he's lost all hope in saving the city. Then this little girl from earlier tries to give Mega Man some motivation, but I wasn't listening to any of it because I was trying to flick her off the screen. <laughs> and this was the point of the movie where I was actually getting kind of fatigued. I I actually couldn't mentally handle this anymore. I look like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer with his pimple. Holy crap! Oh, I got another one. Ah, oh, dude, this movie's giving me bad luck. This movie's giving me bad luck. But something brightened my spirits. Minion is back, baby, and he's ready to save the city with Mega Man. I don't care anymore. <laughs> I don't care anymore. My work is never done with you. Your constant state of chaos makes me feel as though I'm always needed. Is this isn't entire movie written in ChatGPT. So, they devised a plan to stop the Doom Syndicate from their crazy moon mission and made a stop to the Everything City Superstore for supplies, I guess. This shopping center has so much life to it. Look at that. It's, it's so lively. <laughs> what was that? Then it readily cuts to Mega Mind and Roxanne confronting the Dome Syndicate with a sort of like homemade tennis ball device that like shoots balls. This part of the movie was super memed on because in the trailer the animation of the tennis balls were terrible. Like the tennis balls just spawn in one frame and watching the actual movie, it still looks really shit. <laughs> Oh my god. But Mega Mind, oh no! The device that shoots tennis balls wasn't good enough, and the Doom Syndicate just starts the rocket boosters and launch the city into space! By the way, this city is massive. Holy shit, tits. We'll might have more time if we split up. <laughs> and now that the city is going to space, there are actually people in the streets this time. Holy crap, it's not an empty city anymore. And with the city in the sky, for some reason Mega Mind is hiding in this huge construction site, and the Doom Syndicate head over there and try to find him. Oh Look into my eyes and fall onto my power man of blue. <laughs> but then, Mega Mind comes in with the dub and drowns Pennywise in cement? Holy crap! Then Mega Mind sees the Weather Lady. I, I don't even know her name. And Mega Mind gets her to electrocute herself, and the animators didn't really bother with her death animation. I think that animation's gotten worse for this final part of the movie. Mega Mind is going crazy, he's defeating the whole syndicate, and then we got the lava guy. What is Mega Mind gonna do? Trick. But, it, but it's a pit. How did the truck get in there? My hero. But then we have the final member of the Doom Syndicate, 
the, the tier 100 Fortnite skin. He reaches his shadow axe to kill Megamind, but then the little social media girl, whatever the fuck she is, throws a freaking bomb at him. And just like that, the Doom Syndicate is dead. Let's let's freaking go, baby. <laughs> this is such an anticlimactic boss fight. And after defeating the most soulless villains I've ever seen in the movie, the city safely landed back on Earth. With Megamind saving the day once again. Ugh, I want to be like him when I'm, when I'm older. Metro City saved, let's go. Yo. Hey. Yeah, I'm watching a normal movie that's good. That's a good movie. It's actually good, is that? It's actually, I'm actually surprised. It's actually pretty good. Is it? It's really good. It's actually, I actually really enjoy myself. Oh well. Just kidding. It sucks. Ding. And just like that, Megamind and the gang save the day, ending the movie with like a bat signal sort of thing, and a post credit scene that just completely ruins Megamind's whole backstory and how he became a villain on his own. It's really shit. I, Machia villain, am the evil genius who taught Megamind everything he knows. Okay, dude, there's gonna be a third one. <laughs> Let's go, I'm so excited for when that comes out, but damn. That was like, that was, that was like one of the movies. That was what that was. Okay, so my final thoughts on the movie. By the way, I drew Megamind. Look at. <laughs> Ow! Ow! I just ran my toe over the chair. <sighs> but I think we've all wanted a Megamind sequel, and what we got was just really soulless. It just feels like a Coca Melon episode or something. We got none of the old voice actors, and all the characters just feel like a shell of their former selves. Ah, there you are, chum. Let's head back to the lair. Those socks aren't gonna wash themselves. And the whole plot as well, it just feels like a whole nothing sandwich to me. It's all just pretty lame. Kids are gonna love this movie, but it's actually so sad to see how hard Megamind has fallen off. When I heard Megamind 2 was coming out, I was excited, I was shitting myself, but then I started watching and it was slow. This ain't the same mega mind that helped me through my childhood of rough times. He ain't the same mega mind that I watched as a kid. This was mega mid. It looks like some coca melon ass shit. This was mega mid. It looks like fing plastic for some reason. This was mega mid. Thank you guys for watching this movie. Mega Mind was cool, but now he's in a different target audience. Dude, this is so cool. This is the coolest thing I've ever filmed. Holy fuck! Oh.